Welcome back to the Mozilla Festival at the Ravensbund College in London. We're very lucky to have Sim Teller from Flatter with us to talk about micro donation. So can you present the project for us? Um, so my name is Sim and uh, Flatter is a super simple way to support your favorite authors, creators, makers online. Uh, be it uh, someone who shoots uh, video, someone who writes your favorite blog, shares knitting patterns or uh, 3D models. Um, if they put Flatter button up on their on the website next to the what they're creating, uh, then donating, doing a micro donation to them is just a one-click action. Okay, and how this idea was created? Is it Swedish? Uh, is it uh, behind? an idea of a you know, new philosophy of sharing. What's the philosophy behind all that? Uh, Flutter comes from Sweden. Uh, overall development and product uh, development happens there. Uh, we have a small office in London, mainly marketing, community uh, focused. And the idea for uh, uh, Flutter came from, uh, from kind of understanding that there's so much free content out there, but uh, more and more people are willing uh, to support uh, the authors of those co this content, they want to support the, the authors of this content, that, but there's no simple way. Uh, the existing uh, donation systems, it's a, uh, the transaction fee is quite high, so if you want to uh, give maybe only, only 20 cents or 50 cents, then you're pretty much paying the same amount on, on the fee. Uh, and so we've figured out a, a simple way and cheaper way to do that uh, if you want to just do micro donations, uh, do a lot of them. Uh, the one single donation is small, but as many people do it, it actually adds up for the uh, for the authors. Uh, the second idea there is it's not just a monetary contribution. It's actually uh, recognizing the author's work uh, that you really value that you want them to keep doing what, what they're doing because you know when you've been uh, writing a blog or doing a web comic for six years, you get burnt out if if you don't get any meaningful feedback from your uh, fans. So Flutter helps there. Okay, great. And I understand you have also an office in London now. So what's uh, the strategy for London? Are you going uh, to build a community here? What's, what's the plan for, for London? Um, Flutter itself is global. It works everywhere. Uh, why we're doing uh, an office in London, uh, obviously, is that the English-speaking market is important. UK market is uh, big. US market is big as well, but we'll, we'll get there next. And right now we're focusing on uh, sites and authors, uh, scenes and communities uh, in, in London and in UK. We're going to uh, hacker events, hacks and hack hackers events, uh, uh, meetups, uh, just to get the word out, get more people interested, sign up, uh, uh, because it's all about the ne network effect. The more people you have uh, who want to give, the more people you will have who, who want to receive as well, or will put the buttons, buttons up. Because uh, one of the biggest um, uh, critiques that we've gotten from, from you is that there's not enough sites out there that they can support. Still uh, a discreet compared to the giant uh, that is PayPal, that it's impossible not to mention. But PayPal doesn't offer anything else than money, basically. And what you offer is a community. And analyzing PayPal, about what you're doing, about the project? Mm -hmm. uh, well, no one from PayPal has come, come in and yeah. gotten in touch saying, uh, we like what you do or you should stop. Uh, and in a way, we're not really competing because PayPal is, is it's an excellent tool for uh, um, payments uh, if you want to pay someone five euros. The Flatter user pays a small fee. Let's compare it with birthday cake. When you have a cake, you want to give slices to the people you like. Flatter helps you do that. If you've created something, you can add a Flatter button to your content. Or if you find something you like, and there's a Flatter button besides the content, you click it. I think you're mentioning Wikileaks. Uh, Wikileaks, a uh, couple of weeks ago, they shut down Diaspora's um, uh, accounts, and, and they're, they've had these frozen account cases all the time, uh, and hurting small merchants, hurting small craftspeople who are selling their wares online. So. Uh, there seems to be a real need for, for an alternative as well. Each button is a counter shown to us, and I understand that 
we might, you might uh, uh, feature in, on Vision on TV's blog to talk more about micro donations and we can't wait to hear more from you. This was uh, Mark for Vision on TV and we'll be back soon for another show. Thank you.